It is 4.30, Christmas day. Currently in Vaughn, making my way out. And some nasty stuff. Gonna go out for some more lie, I hope. All right, an update. It's currently almost seven o'clock. Picked up uh, some guy. <laughs> I guess you'll know by the time uh, this video is on. And uh, we got stuck behind some plows. So you were supposed to be on the water around 6.45, 7 o'clock. It's already seven o'clock. I think we are probably around half an hour to 40 minutes away still. Hopefully we'll get into some fish for Christmas fish. Yeah, I can't even grab it. All right, we have safe ice. So we got, you know, I don't know, eight, nine inches. So I've been here three days ago and we had eight inches, but I didn't come through here. So we check it quickly and off we go now. <laughs> What's up boys, we finally made it. We had a little uh, hiccup this morning. Well, not hiccup, just hit the, the plow was in front of us for a good half hour. We made it, don't worry. He's got me digging a hole with spud. We got over nine inches of ice. Uh, it's not the best ice, but it's solid white ice with probably three, four inches of black, so we're good. Um, we're, let's test out that garment. That's why I came back here. I want to show a live strike on the garment. Look. No. <laughs> so I got Kevin from Big Fish Small Camera with me. Sea bass from Sea Bass. Wait, Sea Bass from Sea Bass Outdoors? Yeah. <laughs> me, 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 and him, me and him have both from the channel. We're both from Ontario. He does some wicked footage, probably some of the best out there. Oh. And we're going to throw some balls. Nice. Have you tried the, the electric drill? No, I want a K drill so bad. Yeah, I, I didn't think. I thought about it. And I was like, oh, forget it. Oh, we got. Watch. Once you play with it, you'll see. It's pretty nice. Yeah. That's a fuel, right? M18. I mean, compare that to like a gas. It's nothing, right? Uh, it's locked right now. That's an eight inch. Yeah. Hey, show me. I'll just pull it. So one hole here. Yeah, you got so we got a lot of ice here, guys. <laughs> Usually I just keep drilling to drill all the... How's that drill? It's amazing, man. But how many holes can you do? Uh, I don't know. We could try it out today. We'll count how many holes we can do today. Four. And I'll do I'll do another three or four. Yeah. This is only the four amp battery. This is a five amp battery. You don't need to be too far. How many inches we got here? We got a foot. 
This what? The water's so stained too. I was gonna it is very, very silty down there. Don't pound the bottom. I was gonna throw a camera down too. Nah. I got my camera down. You can't even see a foot. It's so confusing. Oh. Maybe your camera's different. You got the marking camera? Yeah. Try it. Focus though. Eh, it's automatic focus. Or you can just push it to focus. I'm not marking squat. Are they near the bottom or are they like mid column? They fill up real quick from the bottom. And they rise up quick, but you gotta move your bait up, right? You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, but I'm not seeing anything. I haven't marked a single fish come up yet. Just had one come up. Can't find any fish in the hut, so I'm gonna move around, try some more holes. Need a line going deeper, I think. Let's see if there's anything. Okay, this is the third spot of the day. We've seen some fish, but nothing landed so far. Sea bass. Hooked up a lost one. I only got about half an hour, hour max left. Hoping to catch some fish. Otherwise, gotta check out his panoptics. It's pretty sick. It's kind of like watching the aquarium from the side, you can see the fish that's the left to the right. Whereas with the traditional 2D, it's more like it's only the history of it and it's only directly below you. It's not a side view of it. Pretty sick. <laughs> Finally, geez. Got me a walleye. <laughs> How big is it? The size of my finger, man. <laughs> oh, <no way>. <laughs> <laughs> I drove two and a half hours for this fish, man. <laughs> it's seriously like the size of it. You see it? Is it small? Yeah, man. It's so small. <laughs> see, that's got fish. Oh, you got a perk? Cool. It's not Simcoe size, but. Oh, yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> oh, thanks, bro. Thanks, man. It's not bad for a perch for here. That's not bad. Super aggressive. Eh? So if the perch, if the perch gets this big, man, the wallet's gotta get big. 
I was about the size of the wall I caught. That might have been bigger than one. <laughs> no, your wall was longer. Super aggressive, eh? So I get these little marks coming up like in schools of three. Yeah. Super afraid of my bait. They'll come up to it, but like you can tell they're smaller, like what kind of what you had over there? Over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time that happened, it happened twice now. I get one shooting up on the side. Oh. So it might be minnows schooling up with them. I got a big one. I got a big one. Got a big one? It's oh shooting down. It was a oh, good mark. Two of them. Are you kidding me? Yes. There we go. Got him? Yeah, I got him. It's a better fish. Slightly better. It's a good either side. Buddy. No, it's an like eater size. There was two of them. There was two marks. Yeah, the one I caught was like that. Oh. No, there was two marks. This was the smaller mark that hit. Really, eh? Once you told me once you told me about the cracking wrap, I changed over to back to the the You call them a cracking wrap? Uh what is this called? Lipless crank. Yeah, lipless crank. I don't know. This, this one's a crack one. Did, this did you tip one. it with a minnow? That's a nicer yeah, one than mine. <gasps> did you tip it with a minnow? Yeah, I did. Had a boy. And you're in 10 feet of water. Yeah. You're marking way more than me. That's a good perch, man. Yeah, that's a good perch. For here, I mean, like... You can't complain, but they, they, they might have more arms, eh? Yeah. <laughs> no minnow was another way. He came to cr he crushed it. I thought I had a good walleye. That's a good perch. What do you think? That's like 12 inches? Uh, not quite. It's gotta be close, though. Yeah, it's probably. Like... Oh, wait, I took a measuring tape? I got a measuring tape? We can solve this issue right now. It's gotta be close to 12. How much is it? 11. 11? <laughs> it's not bad perch. So what happened is I, I snapped off my minnow, put the rod in the case. Yeah. I'm like, oh, he it, it came and ate my minnow. I'm like, come on. I put the chicken wrap, so I took it down. go sea bass uh, came out fishing for walleye try to find some walleye we got into a few I guess it wasn't as good as we had hoped but um, got meet sea bass this is the first time I met sea bass uh, he has his own YouTube channel sea bass outdoors uh, check him out he does a lot of videos he uh, he caught the Ling record for Ontario last year uh, he has the full video of that so that's pretty cool you can check him out and um, let's hope we get into more fish next time. <laughs>